sorry about that, babe. All right, chapter 14, the time of the bird dragon's awakening. Now, I do know that there's a secret character uh, somewhere in this chapter, so hopefully we could find them just by, you know, kind of doing stuff normally, if you will. So we'll see. Wow, it's been so long since I've been in Godland. You can all make yourselves a home here, too. Hey, Melodia, why'd you leave Godland anyway? I wanted to ride on a dragon. And there's the little devils, too, of course. Wait, Melodia! There's one thing I don't get, whether it's in Campbell or here in Godland. Why don't any of these people fight back? Don't they have a problem with living under the Empire's rule? To each his own, Matalite. Maharl fought back, didn't they? Don Juan and Jean. Did Don Juan leave the ship? I hope he hasn't caused a ruckus here. I'm the captain, so I want to make sure that everybody follows the rules and keeps things orderly. Would you stop prattling on? Uh, I just got put in my place. I'm putting you in charge here, Bits. As usual. With bits in charge, well, I believe we could all relax here indeed. You're always working hard, Bits. Keep up the good work. Actually, you know what, Bits? I thought I saw a little devil just a moment ago. Thing is, it looked a little different from the ones on the dung heap. Okay. Huh? I haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to Godland. Oh, the War Dragon Squadron? For real? Is that the smell of the dragons, then? It's a pretty potent smell there. Magical City of Godland. That's a story from a long time ago. So many wizards and priests died during the war with the Empire. Godland has given up on fighting ever since. When I get older, I'm gonna join the Rebel Army. I mean, they're so cool, after all. I get some sort of weird... vibe here. I always got sweet honey, by the way. like something's amiss. Man, I was surprised when you guys showed up. I would have been devastated if Godlin got pulled into fighting in that skirmish. Well, he did emerge victorious, so I suppose it all turned out okay in the end, but still. Are you bits of the War Dragon Squadron? Hmm, you're pretty handsome. You do smell a little funny, though. Yeah, I get the feeling that these guys are like monsters or something. The music's all eerie. I don't know. It just seems off. Ooh, it looks like Melodia's back, huh? It's been a while since I've seen her. Right, let's go talk to Oneida. This looks like Melodia's house. Judging by the sounds coming from inside, it must be a very happy place to be. Somehow, I was reminded of my childhood. Bri Brionic, Brionic Lance? I don't know what that word is. <clears throat> okay, that's cool though, I guess. Um, alright. I guess before we start going into houses... I should... Check all the crates. I checked over there. Nothing else there. Darkness Grass. Hmm. Interesting. This almost looks like a, uh... Is this like a weaponry? Holy grass. Pretty cramped in here, we better make sure not to get any dings in our weapons. Oh, we got new stuff. Hmm. Grand Slam. 
All right. Uh, cutlass. All right. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Interesting. It does make the Earth affinity go up, though. Hmm. Okay, so we got that. I gotta figure out who I'm gonna put this stuff on, you know? That's a pretty big jump. <laughs> hmm. Well, kind of wish I didn't go ahead buying all that Crescent stuff if I knew that it wasn't going to be, you know, that great. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, maybe I will give you guys that magic bump though. And let's sell some stuff. Water affinity. Hero. You know what? I'm actually gonna probably sell... Well... Did I... Can wear the cutlass or equip the cutlass. Wait, Piro? I don't even have Piro on my team. Is that the secret character? <laughs> Wasn't Piro like on my team like way back? I guess I'll keep it for now. I'm just a little mind fucked at the moment. What do you got? Hmm. Why is all this armor like bunk, man? At least that wasn't. Yeah, it seems like the heavy armor I bought was a complete fucking waste. Wow, that's terrible. At least we know that... 
This is worthwhile. I think. <laughs> it's so hard to tell, man. I don't know if there's some kind of button or something that you could press to, like, really look into it, but... Otherwise, it seems like it's a lot of guessing and checking. Alright, good enough for now, I suppose. Alright, I think we're good. There's something that burns even hotter than the flames, hotter than even the sun, shining far above the land. You know what that is? Uh-huh, what is it? Is it you? It's the feelings that I, Don Juan, have for you. That much, I could say for sure. Huh? It's a topsy-turvy world out there. My heart, the heart of Don Juan, is burning hot. You catch my drift? I called a real class act with a heart so pure, but I'm so lonely all by myself. How about you? Are you okay? No need to be coy. I can see what's in your heart, just as if it was peering, <laughs> as if I was peering at it under the lens of a microscope. That much I could say for sure. You're creeping me out. What are you, a microscope salesman? Oh, what a topsy turvy world we live in. Don Juan, what are you doing here? Um, uh, please, Lucia, find it in your heart to forgive me. Hmm. Yikes. Assault staff. Huh. Interesting. Are you here to solve microscopes too? Holy mackerel. Lots of stuff going on here. Seven diaries of poems? Stealth armor set. Huh. Do we still have that building? Did I talk to this person? I haven't seen you around before. Welcome to God. Oh, yeah, I did talk to her. Hmm. Interesting. So, from what I'm seeing, if I had talked to everybody, Don Juan should be popping down. Does that mean I have to talk to everybody in the pub? I talked to that boy. Did I talk to you? I did. And there was this guy over here that I talked to. That's where Oneida was. I talked to you. I talked to the old guy. Maybe I have to talk to everybody in the pub, possibly. I don't know. Let's see if I could find some more notage on this. Uh... Okay... Yeah, I don't know. 
from what I see, I'm supposed to talk to everybody, and then I'm supposed to go talk to Don Juan, which I did. And then I guess I'm supposed to go talk to the lady by the tree, and he's supposed to drop in again. But... I'm not seeing that. I might have screwed it up. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, man. I might have screwed it up. Maybe I was supposed to go talk to her right away or something. No idea. Little devils that live in this town may be small, but they still are, they're still Grim Reapers all the same. I do hope that someone will come and take them away from here. You're with the Rebel Army, aren't you? It's pretty bold of you to openly call yourself a Rebel. I think it's wonderful. Mm -mm. Well done, indeed. Welcome. Take the little devils that are living in this town. I'll wave the tab for the Rebel Army. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have screwed something up in getting this, uh... <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, bit. Some little devils were here right before you came in. They started dancing around and asked us if they could join our cause. Sendak can't handle his liquor. Bits, I just started prattling on and saying more than I should, and... Alright, well, I talked to everybody here. Uh... On one? There he is. Hi there, my adorable angel. My name is Don Juan, the real class act with the heart... Oh my god, I'm just gonna skip his dialogue. Bits is known as the Warrior of Love. He's the commander of Kana's War Dragon Squadron. You're Bits, the commander of Kana's War Dragon Squadron? Hold on just a moment. You already heard of Bits before? Yeah, something's up with this town, man. Did the two of you come with me? Hmm. Whenever a woman asks me to go somewhere, I then reconsider, or excuse me, I then consider it my mission to reach that destination. Yes, but surely more than one woman awaits me there. What should I do? Are you a friend of the person who's been sleeping here? Well, you should hurry up and meet with her then. Is your name Bits by any chance? Elixir. Apparently this person came here from Kana. She's been having nightmares. She keeps crying out in her sleep. Bits! Bits! Bits? Did you say Bits? It's me, I'm Mist, formerly one of the Knights of Kana. Did you realize it was me? Oh, to think the woman lying here would be bedridden, suffering an illness. My, my, my. Mist, you survived? So earlier when I thought Piro was from the beginning of the game, I think I was thinking of Mist. <laughs> Squad leader Madelite, yes, I'm okay. I haven't seen you since the day Kana fell. Oh, I thought you were done for. How did you manage to escape from Kana? Excuse me, sir. She's not feeling well right now, so I'd like to ask you to keep your voice down if you could. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, seeing you in bits makes me feel a lot better. Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. Are you blushing there, bits? Back then, I'd been completely defeated, and I... I was saved by a man. What? Who is this man? Who is the man who saved you, Mist? Sasua Papaleos, one of the generals of Granvelos. Huh? Papaleos? Why would one of the Empire's generals save you? A knight of Kana. I have no idea what his reasons were. Bits, come to Melodia's house. Um, uh, please, Lucia, find it in your heart to forgive me. Okay, wow. Interesting. I wonder if that dream of ours might eventually come true. We really shouldn't give up on it, should we? The Knights of Kana have hereby been reborn. Peaceful here in Godland, but the outside world isn't so fortunate, is it? Oh no, even I, Don Juan, find myself unable to meet Lucia's case. What? Is Don Juan still going on around hitting on girls? Interesting.
<sighs> okay, I hope she joined. <laughs> There's the little devils. We'll board that ship as well. The ship that carries death upon it. Quite a fitting name, too. This is my grandpa. Hey, let me look around here. Master Rod. So I do have some stuff that I think I could equip. Bitter Memory. Oh, so your bits. Melody was just telling me about you. Melody has turned into a fine young woman while she was away. I'm very happy for her. You don't have to say that. You're embarrassing me. No, no. Words unspoken are not spoken <laughs> What? Uh, huh? I don't get it. Ho ho ho. It's a good old Godlandian proverb. Welcome home. You are working late, weren't you? It's good to be back home. I was rather busy today, actually. I was worried when you didn't come back at the usual time. Oh no, you'll have to excuse me for that. A home unreturned is not returned to un. <laughs> the fuck? It means what it means. I wonder if you youngins could understand. My grandpa loves old sayings. A lot of people call him a weirdo for it, but try not to hold it against him, okay? Melody has always loved animals and little devils since she was young. She heard that there were plenty of little devils and dragons in Kana. After that, she started pestering me about how much she wanted to go there. I thought that it would be the end of it, but she up and left, out of the blue. As if I'm the only one who's done that, Grandpa. I mean, you've done the same thing yourself. You've gone on trips without saying anything to me plenty of times before. True. Something in our blood that makes us want to travel, I suppose. And when we get back, we tend to need to buy clothes that are one size bigger than before. Oh, right bits. My Grandpa's been to all sorts of places and he knows a ton about things like proverbs and old folklore and all that kind of stuff. He said that he has something he wants to tell you, and the others, Bits. Oh, that's right. In fact, that's why I invited you to my own home in the first place. There's a legend that's been passed down in Godland since ancient times. Oh, boy. Here it sleeps upon this land, a feathered dragon like a bird. From it rage seeps this dragon bird, so wake it not and let it sleep. The legend of the divine dragons? The dragon bird? Garuda? I could feel its anger. Such dreadful anger. Isn't Garuda from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest? Or am I thinking maybe Final Fantasy 3? I don't know. Ah, me too. I could feel it as well. Though only faintly. Do you know where Garuda is? Yes, I found out where it is. It's in the Eastern Cavern, but be careful if you're planning to head that way. That place is full of monsters. Well then, let's head to that cavern and call out that dragon. Let's go then. Let's go. Okay. Let's hurry up and mount our dragons. People used to say this long ago. One little devil, then you're gonna part ways. Two little devils, endless joy will fill your days. Three little devils begins a new phase. Okay, Melody, just sing the last part. Hmm, four little devils, new encounters in the haze? Yes, well done. That's right, new encounters. I'm sure any divine dragon we encounter will join our cause. It doesn't matter how angry they are, they'll be fine. We'll head out once you're through the, uh, with the preparations. There's a divine dragon in Godland, too. I wonder what... I wonder if it's that... Oh my god, I wonder if that's the one that drew us in here. Sorry, guys. Sometimes, reading is fundamental, you know? What? That's miss for you. Some experience on the field will turn her around, though. I'm fine here. Take me along with you. I just hope I don't end up holding you back. Look at the frame rates are weird over here. Uh, make preparations. Alright, let's feed a little bit. Oh, shit. I guess I could do that on the other screen, so we're not gonna sell any of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll do Thundergrass. I 
I don't know how I feel about this. I'm assuming dark magic might be poison and holy grass might do the life thing. Diary of poems, sweet wine. Okay, so that bumped like everything. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see what the, uh... Holy Grass, yeah, okay, so Holy Grass bumps up a lot of stuff. Gotcha. And I guess I missed a bunch last chapter. <laughs> eh, it's okay though. Fire, ice, thunder. Eh, whatever. Decent amount of stuff here. Good enough for now, I suppose. We need to check out So we have mist and a party of four little devils. I don't really know if I want them though. Like I'm not a huge fan of the little devils. Mist though. It's all 24. Light armor, eh? Hmm. Kind of want to I don't know, I might... Hmm. I actually might bonk out Truce. How do I, uh... <laughs> well, she actually doesn't really have anything to put on, though. Formation. I want her on my party, but she's not, like, ready. You know what I mean? Bunny and poison resistant? Speed goes up. Huh. This actually might be worthwhile. I don't know. Tough to decide. Um, 
Yeah, I might keep, uh, what's your face on the sidelines for a little bit. I'm very confused about the... The master rod. An assault rod. Wow. Okay, um... Trying to diversify a little bit here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna leave Mist out until she gets properly geared. But uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're in a cave. Take down the Moth King. Okay, so we got some treasure chest here. Ah, I see. Oh, wow. A lot of stuff. Where's the Moth King? Moth King's over here. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh, wait a minute, so... I think I'll have to have Madelite go over there, right? I think so. Alright, I think I'll send it up. We'll focus on this side first, and then we'll just go over there. Nope. Uh, yeah, I guess I could send you up this way. I'll send the other three up the other way. Not a big deal. some leviathan action up in this bitch. Nice, dude. Not too shabby.
Okay. Pretty good. Uh, oh, why? Oh, well, actually, thank you. I didn't realize there was a chest over there. <laughs> but not the best move. Um, okay, I guess. Maybe. Ooh. This isn't... That's not great. That's not great. Is getting slapped around a little bit. <laughs> we'll do. Maybe we'll do a little star fall here. Oh yeah, I forgot that these guys are, like, insanely beefy. This is an even beefier version than the other one. It's green. Jesus. Great. It was a trap. So was he asleep or something? I guess we'll do that. I love the, uh, the random repositioning. No. Okay. That was a good move there, Mitchie. Good move, buddy. Slowly but surely, making our way through. I pretty much want to clear out these enemies and then go try to loot these chests. 
Because uh, we have to do a decent amount of like interactivity with the environment here, breaking things down, you know, getting rid of lava, whatever the case may be. are undead, right? So... Let's see. Hopefully I didn't actually heal them. Alright. Could have been worse. I just noticed how tiny this dude's waist is. Bodybuilder's dream. Unfortunately, the bloodsucker kept that guy alive. Okay. Should be able to make decent headway on these enemies here, at least. Um, alright. Don't miss the Thunder Smash, please. Thank you. Nice. Oh, we got some kind of armor from him. Good, good, good. Good RNG here. Oh, why? <laughs> Not what I was hoping for. Ay ay ay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Huh. people over here.
I Magic Jin. Alright, hopefully Razor doesn't get absolutely destroyed. Little concerned about that. <laughs> I mean, at least he seems to be dodging pretty well. He won't reach him. The bunny will make friendly. Oh, boy. I wonder if that works on dragons. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, Razor is attached to... Who has Razor? Yeah. Okay. Um... Guess we could send you down there. But we need somebody with ice magic, and we need earth magic. Alright, so you need to go up here. Pretty, uh, pretty good heal there, not gonna lie. Happy with that. And am I sending some- yeah, I'm sending you down here, right? Oh, well, nope, we already got that. Already got that. But, we would have to do white magic or break through there, that's okay. Um, so yeah, I gotta send you upward. That was a mistake. like to kill you this turn because I don't have to worry about anything other than looting but I guess we'll see maybe I'll try attacking you I have to do like a thousand basically Brigandine armor. Yeah, I got some drops here that I gotta check. Um. Alright. Well. I will actually move you back up here. Does earth dust work? Or do I need, like, the earthquake? Oh, it works. Okay. Oh no! I was gonna say, I don't want you to go forward. We do not need that. Okay. I want to move Sendak up top. So he could put everything out, basically.
Uh, yeah, I should actually just clear the way here. Come and turn. Sendak should go up here. Um, and turn. And there's only one chest up here? Yeah. So... Probably have you go here, dragon, come um, and turn. Dragon, come um, and turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of, uh... Basically just maneuvering, really. Dragon, come um, and turn. <clears throat> okay. Sendak's gonna be able to put stuff out in one fell swoop for us. And I'll just let these guys slowly work over. Those other guys will stay there. Uh, looks like Cottontail, though, is... Gonna get to me. That's okay, I guess. Summon Leviathan. Hopefully it's good stuff in these treasure chests. <laughs> I might actually retreat a little bit as the enemies continue to make their way towards me. We'll have to see. Alright, what's well, the first one? A trap! Yay! Great, nightmare. Wonderful, we love to see it. Uh-huh, wonderful, great. Thank you. The end of the day, not terrible. Um, does anybody know? I mean, you know ice magic. Maybe I will send you up. Okay, next turn we should be able to loot the rest of that area to the upper left, and we'll focus on the top, and then we'll shift our way over here and hopefully get whatever that chest is before we kill the moth. Yeah, that bunny rabbit's... I don't know, man, coming pretty, pretty quick. Sigrun? Okay, and you can grab this. Dark grass, at least it wasn't a troll. And now you can work your way over here. in front of me. I get the feeling that this might be a troll, but I guess we'll see. Alright, bunny rabbit's gonna be coming in hot soon, so let's maybe back up a little bit. And let's end our turn. We're gonna have to send our good movement party over there to get that chest. That is for damn sure. Aurora! Yeah, we almost killed them in... One hit, so that's good. Um... Ok, 
Can I kill you? Yes, I can. Okay. But yeah, let's focus on getting the rest of the crew out of here. Madelite's gonna probably have a rough go of it. Uh, this party will be alright, though. She's gonna have to be the one that loots. So. Dependent. take a little heal, why not? Yeah, Madelite's like barely gonna be involved in this, unfortunately, but I'll do my best to uh, catch him up. Look at this movement, man. Insane. One step closer. Please don't kill the moth. I mean, I do have to kill it eventually, but... That was devastating looking. Alright. Uh, you... Boop. Probably just... Start sending my dragons next turn as well. Okay. All right, the final stretch begins now. You guys are gonna block my way, aren't you? That could have been way worse. I think I need to play this a little coy. Um, 
Do a little starfall. Oh, you didn't attack? Come on, man, really? Flex Belmont, let's go, baby. Bam. Well, the goons should be basically dead soon. Well, that's good. I didn't like your positioning there, Serana. Why did you get in the way? Remember, we can't kill the moth. We have to get to that chest. I guess I just have to send that party in as best I can next turn. Madelite's still lagging behind. Probably say go. I just want to wipe out the big guys. It gives me more room to move, at least. You know? But here we are, ganging up on the friggin... The boss. That's one of the cooler attacks so far, Diffuse Beam. Alright. Should be able to wipe out the big... Uh... Titan dudes. Kinda have to. They're in the way. See you later. Hopefully, uh... Just physically attacks Belmont. Let's go, baby! Belmont is a certified G and a bona fide stud. Let's go. And how much HP do you have left, good sir? It's gotta make sure that I have at least like two turns here. Oof. Let's see. I <laughs> love how the dragons are just like, nah, you're not going anywhere. Uh, what do you have? Oh, plenty of... Plenty... ...of HP. I should be able to loot next turn. Oh, really? No attack? Okay. Do another Leviathan here. Yeah, I think I have to kind of pull back a little bit here. Just to make sure I don't, you know, do something stupid, I guess. That was probably the wrong move, but that's okay. Oh, of course Belmont's attacking. <laughs> Thought for sure he tried to heal somebody. Alright, I gotta be careful here. I think I have to pull everybody else back. All for the love of the loot.
Uh, you could attack, though. I feel safe with that. Because he still has, like, what, like, three or four thousand health? He's gonna get countered by somebody, but he should live. <clears throat> Hopefully. Oh, he won't get countered at all. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this loot and kill this boss in GTFO. Blackburn. Blackburn. Dude, we got some decent stuff I'll have to look into. Last Leviathan here. I don't remember how much HP the boss has. This is either gonna kill him or it's going to put him like immediately on death's door. There you go. How about that? With this, I must vanish. I definitely have some stuff to look into next chapter, that's for sure. Got a bunch of weapons. I want to look into possibly putting uh, mist into my party. I'm gonna keep the devils out for sure. Obviously, got a few dragons and gear up if I can, because I don't know what the in between, you know, has to hold. Princess, is something the matter? Velitra is causing a fuss about something now. Maybe it's excited that we're about to reunite with an old friend. I don't know. Are you okay, princess? Yes, I'm fine. I have come. I'm coming for you, boy. And I'm coming hard. Garuda, divine dragon, I've come to stand here before you. Elytra and Leviathan are here with me as well. Let's go! Uh, Leviathan's pretty deadly, so I guess we'll see. Oh, maybe not. Princess, pull yourself together. Princess Oneida. Garuda, what caused this? Are you angry? Spiteful? It can't be. Ugh. Princess, stay with us. Princess Oneida. Let's hurry back to the dung heap. Man, you. Whoa, alright. Was not expecting that, so I guess I don't have Garuda. I don't know. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed Chapter 14 and this playthrough so far, and if you have, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for Chapter 15, Showdown in the Burning Sands. Take care.